I am super excited right now, <laughs> seriously, uh, because the GPD win finally arrived and was kindly provided to me by Dragonbox Shop and you can find the link in the description down below here because this is just the first part of the video because I'm going to unbox it right now and I'm going to test it the next few weeks. Uh, I'm not sure if I have to send it back or something because there was no letter in the box or anything like that. So yeah, let's get right to the unboxing and uh, because I'm super excited and I want to try it out today and it's already kind of late here. So let me open the box if I can open it at all. Come on, why are you not opening? One moment, please. There we go, okay. Stupid box. <laughs> the first thing we get in the box is, of course, the unit itself, the GPD win. And we'll get to that later. But first I want to take a look at the accessories you get with it. Because first you get a screen protector, I think that is. And standard stuff for China. And if you ever bought a smartphone from China, you know that they tend to give uh, screen protectors like this. The next thing we have in here is, seems to be headphones and USB cable, so let's open that one. There we have a, oh, USB-C, okay. I thought we'd get the micro USB cable, but no, it's actually USB-C. Anyway, so we get a USB-C cable here and a pair of, okay, that's Apple knockoff uh, headphones. <laughs> that's definitely Apple. I don't have... Uh, Apple headphones here right now, but I own some, so yeah, these are definitely Apple headphone copies. <laughs> I'll have to check out uh, how they sound, because who knows. Anyways, the next thing we get is probably the charger, and how many amps does it have? Zero to six amps, that's not, oh, input, sorry, uh, two to five amps, okay, so should be enough to charge this thing. So, no worries there. So, the next thing is probably the manual or whatever that is. Just a, just a few paper things and stuff. So, let's actually get to the main unit here because this video is already going for five minutes or something. Yeah, there we go. This thing actually looks like a 3DS or like a 3DS XL. So, so yeah, this is like a 3DS, 3DS XL. So, let's open it. Wow, <laughs> I'm kind of stunned because it, it feels amazing in the hand already and I haven't even played it. The buttons feel a little bit squishy but and the control sticks don't click so they lay the buttons down here, the L3 and R3 I think. It already feels, it feels sturdy like it, it, it's not too heavy but it's uh, just enough so that you don't think it's like something cheap, so yeah. You have your little fan controls on the back here, but I'll uh, get to the details in the second part of the video because right now I'm super excited to test this thing for the next couple of weeks. And thanks to the magic of video editing, it's now five weeks later and I can finally bring you my own conclusion of the GPD win. And I have to say there are a few drawbacks and a lot of positive things too, of course. But first let's get started with the oval hardware here. So first of all, the one slightly annoying thing is that they didn't use full analog sticks here. But I mean that's due to the size of the thing, but still they could have used some other caps here, some uh, because these are only rubberized and sometimes you slip with your finger, you slip off of your finger from those things and it's really annoying in when you're in a game and you suddenly have to readjust your thumb because you're sliding off and you maybe get killed because of that so yeah there are third party rubber things you can put on here but i haven't bought them yet so yeah the second thing is the keyboard even though it feels nice, it's really super clicky and I really love the feel of it. You can't really write on it, but it isn't intended to write on it. It's, uh, it's only just there if you ever need to type something. So it's not there to write whole stories or something. So yeah. 
But one another slightly annoying thing is that you can't press uh, Alt F4 really nicely here because you have to press Fn, Alt and F4 and it's really... If you're laying in bed and playing games or something, it's really annoying because you, you, you have to do something like this here and, and hold it and press here and it's just a little bit annoying. So yeah, uh, another thing is the buttons are a tiny bit squishy, especially those on the back, but they aren't super annoying now. As you can see there's a lot of clearance between the actual case and the buttons here. And they feel a little bit squishy, but they're not annoying or anything. They're, it's just me nitpicking a little bit on the device here. But for 450 bucks in Europe, it's... yeah, I think that's a little bit much. But anyways, that's what I'm coming to later on in this video. So yeah, in the last five weeks of testing, I came across a few issues. As example, the SD card reader would sometimes suddenly stop responding. And it's especially annoying in games when you when you're loading into a new area and you have to wait for the game to respond again. So yeah, it would sometimes hang a few seconds and some other people seem to have the issue too. So there's a little application that occasionally reads and writes a file to the SD cards so it won't go into sleep mode, but yeah. It's something GPD should address in a future firmware update, but that's the next thing, you, the drivers and everything, the newer drivers and such stuff, you can only get it on a Chinese website and I'm not speaking Chinese, so there's a little bit of a problem here. There are forums that translate them to English and provide the links for it, but it's still a little bit annoying, so, because you have to wait for them to translate it for you and sometimes there are days or even weeks before someone posts about that. As example, there were a few firmware revisions of the joystick driver and I think we are now at version 23 and the device came shipped with version 19 or something I think, I'm, I'm not sure. And I didn't know that there was a newer driver so I was stuck with some annoying bugs and other stuff for around two weeks before I finally realized there is a new update for it. So, speaking of that, let's come to some other things here. As example, the fan control. At first it's a little bit annoying and weird that you have to control the fan yourself on the back here. But after using it, it's actually pretty nice because you can now control if you want it or if you need it. So yeah, it's neat that you can control the fan yourself. Another thing is, uh, speaking of the fan, that when you're gaming on this thing, it gets super hot, like seriously. Sometimes when you're charging it and playing at the same time, it gets so hot you can't even touch it anymore and I'm not sure why that is, but the fan doesn't help much here. So yeah, it's it's more like a, you, you can feel warm air coming out of the bottom here because that's the exhaust here. The intake is on the back here. And sometimes it's a little bit annoying that it's it's getting so hot, but yeah, it's, it's just something you notice when you're when you're laying in bed, playing a game and blocking off the exhaust here, so yeah. A really nice feature is that you can use the joysticks as a mouse here as example. I think you can see that. And you have a little switch in the middle here that controls if you're going to use this thing in mouse mode with the joysticks, in Xbox mode or in D-pad mode. So if you have some older games you can put it in D-pad mode some older games as example that do not use the Xbox driver yet. And you can still use it to play your old games. And speaking of games, I'm going to include a few FPS ratings here because I can't really show all of them and I don't really want this video to be a benchmark video or something. Because there are a lot of other YouTube channels that already covered this and as example low spec gamer and you can find a link to that guy in the corner up here. 
because he makes amazing videos on how to optimize your games like Rocket League or Half-Life as example for the GPD win so you can play it on the mostly the Mac maximum settings and still get 60 fps which is amazing to be honest for such a tiny device actually so yeah even though uh this video sounds like i only have negative things to say about it not really because you can't get more power in such a package like this at least for the time being so gpt actually made a great job here but i would advise them to as example make their driver download section english and not chinese but that's only a little bit annoying, so it's not really a deal breaker or anything. Now, that said, uh, another annoying thing about the shoulder buttons are that they are not analog. They are only digital, so when you press them, it is 100% press. So, in the racing games, as example, that's going to be a little bit annoying. But that said, you can't really play any modern racing games on this anyway. So, it's a little bit of an issue but not a big one so yeah so yeah i don't really want to go into details anymore here because most other youtube channels already covered this but my conclusion is for the price of 450 euros this thing is almost a little bit too overpriced even though i got it for free so yeah this is even though it's sponsored it's still my honest opinion and i'm not going to be a sellout just because i got something for free overall it's a really nice package but the only drawback is the price currently, so maybe it's going down in the future and then it's definitely worth it. But for now, it's still a nice thing, something you won't get somewhere else. But you should get it if you're interested in such stuff like I am. And you can indeed play pre-modern games or whatever you should call this, uh, like Rocket League or Half-Life and Portal. Portal 2 runs even well on this thing. Or if you're playing in low settings but you shouldn't expect much from such a device so yeah super short conclusion if you like it buy it if you don't like it or if you want to wait a few months longer to maybe see the price drop a little bit then wait a few months and so yeah thanks for watching this video and i hope you liked it and sorry that it's a little bit unorganized i was really ill yesterday and i had no time writing a script and doing all of my work I normally do <laughs> so yeah leave a like if you liked it uh link to the dragon box shop is down below and thanks again for them to provide this device free of charge and as you saw it did not affect my own opinion at all